Gabriela Benavides with the Las Vegas Review Journal. Here is your Thursday morning news update. Professional gambler David Owensia, better known as Vegas Dave, has been indicted by a federal grand jury for using fake social security numbers to open player accounts at casinos and sportsbooks. Owensia is accused of using other social security numbers to make nine transactions, totaling roughly up to $3.5 million at Win Las Vegas and Westgate casinos. As a result, both casinos had to file false currency transaction reports. The indictment also seeks an order to force Owensia to forfeit about $881,600 of his fortune. Las Vegas health officials have turned to using vending machines to automate the dispensing of clean needles. A joint program with the Southern Nevada Health District, the Nevada AIDS Research and Education Society, and Track B Exchange have created an idea that is to make clean needles and other gear available to help reduce the spreading of blood-borne infections. The vending machines also dispense kits for wound cleaning and safe sex. Users will have to register before using the vending machine and swipe a unique card that has an ID number that allows them to receive up to two kits per week. And one person was fatally shot in a home robbery invasion Thursday morning according to Las Vegas police. Homicide detectives are investigating the shooting at an apartment complex on East Sahara Avenue, located near Boulder Highway. Police received a call at around 1 a.m. from a man in his mid-20s who said he shot another man who broke into his apartment. The resident did kill the intruder, and police are hoping that the resident will cooperate with being questioned. For all your Las Vegas news and more, visit ReviewJournal.com.